morning, YouTube family. I am just scarfing down some coffee. I have to leave in like five minutes. I'm going to a spin class this morning, which I haven't been to in a long time. So I'm looking really forward to it. Looking really forward to it. I partnered with ClassPass, so I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of different classes around Vancouver now that more things are starting to open up, so I'm super excited about that. And so the plan for today is to take you guys along with me for my day, because I realize it's been kind of a hot minute since I did a little mini day in my life vlog, so here we are. That's what we're gonna do today. I've got, after the spin class, pretty normal day of work. And then tonight I'm going to my first event in a really long time. It's been a long time because of COVID and everything. So I'm super, super excited. It's like a restaurant opening on Commercial Drive in Vancouver. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm gonna meet up with Lee. Um, we'll probably go for a drink beforehand. Yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. Okay, I just finished the class, obviously, because I'm sweaty as hell. I couldn't really film much in there. I felt like people were staring at me with my camera, so I just put it away. And then obviously no cell phones or like mobile devices of any kind in the spin room. It's such a vibe in there. It gets like super dark and the music's pumping and like I just absolutely loved every second of it. I'm gonna leave a link for you guys because I'm partnered with ClassPass that you guys can get two weeks for free if you sign up using the link. So you guys can check it out too. Cause it's so fun. I'm so excited. I'm doing a Pilates class next week and I'm definitely gonna go do more spin classes because I forgot how much I loved it. It was so fun. Okay, came home and chow and just making some lunch. Chris is home from work. Still, he's going soon. Because, good day, mate. He's working night shifts this week, so he hangs out with me during the day, which is nice. So we're just making like turkey burgers, and then we're gonna put pesto on them and kind of chop them up into a salad. Random but delicious. So the turkey burgers are just on the barbecue. So nice out today. I'm really happy for the event later. I'm gonna wear a cute little dress. I'll show you guys later on when I start to get ready. The finished product, it's not stunning to the eyes, <laughs> but it's very tasty. We got some sun-dried tomatoes in there, tomatoes and cubes, avocado, a little bit of feta. Pesto, gotta have the Costco pesto, it's the best. Just eating my lunch at my desk in my office while I whip off a couple emails. If you guys are new here, I am a content creator on Instagram, but I still also have a full-time job in risk management. So that is my eight to five and blogging is my the other hours that make up 24 of the day. So I'm a busy, busy bee all the time, but it's fine. I love it. Wouldn't have it any other way. Anyways, plan for the next like couple hours is to do some emails and then I have to pack up a bunch of Poshmark orders to ship out. So I'll do that as well and then start getting ready to go meet up with Lee later for our fun little event. Just packed up Poshmark orders that I'm gonna go put in the mailbox. Um, I've been using Posh for like, oh my hair is insane. I've been using Poshmark now for like three, four months and it is the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's the best way to like sell clothes that I've only worn once or twice. Some stuff still has the tags on. Um, I'll also leave the link for my Poshmark so you guys can shop my closet if you want to. It's the best, shipping's really cheap too. And I can ship anywhere within Canada through Poshmark, so check it out. Sayonara. Chris forgot his keys, so I'm gonna go quickly walk them to him now and I'm gonna meet him at Starbucks and he's getting me a coffee. So that'll be a nice little pick me up for the afternoon. Thanks for the coffee, mate. So the drink I got that we both got, it's called a nitro cold brew from Starbucks. Not every location has it, but it's so good. It's so smooth and creamy. And then we get sweet cream in it. So it's just like very, very lightly sweet, low calorie. So good, such a nice little summer pick me up. Okay, I'm just in the process of shooting a couple of campaigns. I shot the actual like content for the campaigns yesterday, but I'm working on my stories now. This is typically what my day looks like when I have a lull in my emails. At work, I will do Instagram work. <laughs> so I just kind of switch back and forth throughout the day between one and the other. And I have two campaigns due this week. One's for Nasty Gal. So I'm gonna film those stories shortly once I do my hair and makeup. And the one that I just filmed, I just did like a skincare routine for a beauty company that's Vancouver based. I actually love the products. They're all like cruelty free. The company's called Nourish Beauty if you wanna check them out. So I just did my skincare. That's why I'm glowing. But yeah, in all seriousness, so much work guys, so much work. But now that my skin's done, I'm gonna, I just sent that content over for approval. Hopefully it gets approved. I'll be posting early next week. And then yeah, I'm just gonna do my hair and makeup now, film the content for 
the Nasty Gal stories that I'm doing for them. It's actually really cool. It's a campaign for like they're partnering with Buck Cancer to raise money and create awareness for like normalizing talking about cancer and stuff. So that's really cool. So I'm really happy and excited to be part of that. But anyways, this was a very long winded <laughs> explanation of what I'm up to. Um, but when I'm done my hair and makeup, film those stories, think I'm gonna crack a drink and then I'm going to plan to go meet up with Lee. Okay, hair and makeup is done. I just need to put on some lipstick and jewelry, but I wanted to show you guys this blush that I've been obsessed with. It's by Jouer and it's like a duo cream stick. So it's got two colors. I use like the pinker color. This one's called Uplift and I use like, yeah, like I said, like the pinker color, but it goes on like a little cream and then you just blend it in. And I've just been loving it. I just feel like it, there, that's a better, you can see it better in this light. I'm like a very, very basic makeup gal, but I just love it. I just feel like it gives me like a nice little like blushy glow. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hot tip from the girl that knows nothing about makeup. <laughs> okay, the beverage has been cracked. Please ignore my messy house. I'm wearing my Nasty Gal merch to get these stories over and done with to send off for approval. And then I am heading out the door to go meet Lee. I think we're gonna meet somewhere else for a drink first before we go to the event. That is a wrap on my content today. Stories are sent in for approval. So are the beauty ones. I am done. I'm gonna finish this drink, put on my dress for the event, and then call an Uber. Outfit check. Full maxi dress mode. The restaurant that we're going to the opening of tonight is like, looks exactly like Grease inside. It's very, very cute. So I wanted to go with kind of like a Grease inspired outfit, which like I would 1000 be wearing, 1000% be wearing this dress if I was in Grease right now, but I'm gonna have to put Lee on nip slip duty because if you've been following me for a while, you probably know that I don't wear bras. Literally never, don't even own a bra. This one's dipping a little low, so Lee's on nip slip. Okay, update, I found some double-sided tape so no nip slips here i just called my uber just finished my drink so i'm just gonna head down jump in the car totally forgot that you still have to wear a mask in an uber which is annoying because i just did my makeup but what can you do didn't want to drive tonight so uber it is safety first ladies and gentlemen look who i found thank you <laughs> just tell us how good are you kind sir um we're on commercial drive lula's is just down there but we're just gonna run into this bar randomly and grab a drink absolutely snuck ourselves in for a quick vino cheers honey Oh, thank goodness for that double-sided tape. Literally same. We have arrived. It looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Green salad came first, yeah, I'm mean, stunning. And then dolomites, I think that's how you pronounce it. I might be doing it wrong, but they're like rice wrapped with, oh my god, that tzatziki. Are you kidding me? It looks so good. Quick little bathroom break. Even the bathrooms are freaking cute in here. Food, 10 out of 10, stunning. I already texted Chris and I was like, we're coming back here. Cause it's very good. I'm a huge fan of free food and the cocktails are amazing too. So we will be back. FYI, if I didn't already mention it, it's called Lula's Taverna. Okay, the place was bomb. Bomb. And cocktails we are food and literally and full food yeah. babies right now. Thank God for the maxi dress. <laughs> Men in the maxi dress, bless your soul. I know, bless honestly. your absolute soul. We're gonna go into Mezcal now for a little margarita moment. All right, moment. Yeah, little table on the patio. Got our marts. Cheers, Chica. Stunning, stunning. All right, so we were hungry again. So we got this flaming queso fundido. The best. It's literally a molten pot of cheese. It is your best friend <laughs> and your worst nightmare. Too often tired, flaming. Flaming. Full of hot cheese. Oh. Hey, how do I even? Oh. Get it. There we go. Get it in there. Oh, oh yes. Okay, 
the fun times had to come to an end. We had another marg and some cheese dip. It was delicious. Oh, the best. Mm. And all of a sudden we realized it's 10 p.m. <laughs> and it's probably time to go home because I have an F45 class. 7.50 tomorrow morning. Rip. Rip me. <laughs> um, anyway, so we're both just waiting for our Ubers. Um, should be home in bed hopefully soon. I'm actually glad that... No, we're good. Oh, thank no, you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Second time <laughs> tonight. Um, yeah, literally. I was just literally. gonna say I'm happy it's not cold because we both opted not for no jackets today. It would have I'm actually the like, vibes. yeah, I'm yeah. actually like, no, it's cold. comfortable. The boob tape held up nicely for yep. both of us. <laughs> Check Love the boobs. Um, anyways, um, G to G. Gotta go. Later. Later. Me, I'm too old for that. I don't know what that means. Okay, made it home. Sweet home. I'm just gonna go jump in my PJs, do my little nighttime skincare routine and jump in bed. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. Hopefully this becomes a more typical day in my life. I mean, up until the event, it was a very normal day in my life, but hopefully there are more events on the horizon because I love PR events. They're like, honestly, one of the best parts of being a content creator is like going to events and socializing with people and stuff. So hopeful for lots more of those coming up. But in the meantime, I plan on doing more daily vlogs to just kind of bring you guys along with my daily life. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more of those and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. My handle is at Izzy Dilge if you would like to have an insight into my life as a content creator. Till next time, guys.